Hello and welcome. My name's Chanel and this is my YouTube channel about all my Yarny adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Mama of Yarn. Today is November 8th and this is my podcast about all my projects, finished objects, whips, um, dream projects and all that yarny goodness. Let's start with what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my ranunculus sweater. It's knit up in the colourway Savoy by West Yorkshire Spinners in their exquisite uh, four ply, which is a mulberry silk and wool blend. I held it double with a Rico Kid um, mohair silk. I'll have all the project details down below in the little chevron if you click the chevron i'll have it all listed with the links and it'll take you straight to the um project page on ravelry um it's beautiful i knit it slightly longer than recommended it's a cropped sweater pattern i chose to knit it a full length sweater i chose to do short sleeves i believe the pattern also has instructions for a full sleeve um personally i don't like a full sleeve i they get in the way when i'm doing my knitting household chores etc um beautiful i knit it oversized so that there was a lot of room i believe there's options for a nice tight fitting body hugging uh, sweater if you'd like that style as well um, so <clears throat> projects today I have five finished projects to talk about um, let's start with the first one I had a test knit for um, Hokey Locatelli which was the Streets of Barcelona shawl it's here I believe the pattern has been released last week it's got some beautiful, oops, uh, let's work out, yeah, that's the front. It's got some beautiful cable designs here, twisted stitches. It's a triangle shawl. I chose to knit it up in a sport weight. It's very large. I just give you this yarn is by the yarn whisperer Kaiti. he does amazing colorways it's a hundred percent Guernsey yarn if I just show you whoop, what it looks like on it's a lovely size shawl, if I sit back here, you can see plenty of size. It's a two skein shawl in a fingering weight yarn. I've got the project linked below. Beautifully written pattern, very easy to follow. Hokies patterns are lovely to work with. Um, it's got this garter edge here just so that it frames the pattern design in the shawl. There's not much else I can say about that. It's beautiful. I love these little flower motifs. Unfortunately, the yarn I chose means that the little motifs get hidden in the pooling of the yarn. I would definitely recommend a very light speckled yarn for this shawl pattern if you were going to make it or even a solid a beautiful solid color very tonal would work lovely with that my second finished object are my sock and key club socks for the month this is the mendic key colorway this was the 20 gram mini that came with it i thought i might have enough to do a crazy design with it but actually there wasn't enough to do what I wanted 
Um, so I had to rearrange my design that I was creating. It comes with 100 grams of main colour, which was this bare yarn with a very, very light peachy, let's turn it over. I don't know whether you can see there that peachy dustings almost throughout. Um, I designed ooh, this sock. I didn't follow a pattern, just a 20 row two by two rib, 10 rows of color with four a contrasting color, two rows knit, one row pearl, two rows knit. And I was hoping to be able to continue that oh, by swapping over the colours that I ran out. So I had to just improvise and did two rows and one row and I used all the <laughs> all the um, 20 gram mini for that. And there they are, they're beautiful. I believe it's a, around a 60 row leg in the pattern. Heel flap and gusset my normal toe recipe that I do. I knit those on a 2.25 US 1 9 inch circular and 64 stitches. And I don't think there's anything else to say about those. Um, they're beautiful, they fit lovely. My second, oh, my third object, finished object were my flame socks fire flame socks that I showed in a previous episode. I have um, gifted those already. I'll put a picture of those um, at the end of the video if I can't work out how to put one here. <laughs> um, my fourth finished object is my twists and turns shawl. I did a little video series on that if you'd like to go back and watch it. It's my, when I first started doing my YouTube, I chose to do a little series of each week of my progress. And there it is. It's a beautiful shawl. I had a few little niggles and comments about it, but I won't talk about those here. If you'd like to know about them, please do feel free to go back and watch my previous videos. I will be taking part in Stephen West's Hiber Knit Along, the Aurora Cabin Shawl. I'm going to vlog about that and detail it all here once I've chosen yarns, etc. I, I love Stephen's shawls. The bigger, the better. I love to just snuggle in them, wrap them round. That's it. My last finished object is an absolute beast of a finished object. It's my crocheted blanket. It's a pattern by Helen Shrimpton, I believe that's her last name, called Sacred Space. It's a free pattern. It's a hundred and... 20 rounds I believe. Extremely detailed mandala. I have chosen to make this out of paint box simply. Oh, let's see if I can hold up the circle there, the centre. Zoom in. Um, paint box simply DK. 100% acrylic. I find blankets, it's best in acrylic so they can just be thrown in the wash, put on a, a low heat dry and they last for ages. I haven't woven in any of, well I've woven them in, just haven't trimmed my ends yet. I will do and then just give it another little wash afterwards and dry but it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. Again, pattern link will be down below. I've got all my project notes on that. Um, color choices for each round is all down below uh, in the project page. So if there's any information that you're after that I haven't noted down, please do feel free 
to contact me. I'll get those sent out to you if you require those. And that was the last two or three weeks since I podcast last. Now work's in progress. I have a Christmas present for my sister-in-law. I'm making her a sacred space blanket. Her colour choice in her lounge is blue. So I chose to do this nice, almost like royal sailor blue, I think it's called, with some greys and a light grey, storm grey, which almost looks a pale blue next to those blues. I'm hoping to get a lot of this done this week because Christmas coming, I need to get cracking on it. Um, at the moment, I'm working on some little popcorn flowers. They're looking so beautiful. It's an absolute stunning pattern. I can't remember if I said it's a free pattern and I will link it all below. It fits beautifully over a king sized bed. Or if you want to just snuggle on the couch. Oh, excuse me. Wrapped up, beautiful in the winter months. Um, my spider from last year, at uh, last year, sorry, last podcast, still in my Halloween bag because due to the Westnitz MCAL, I didn't get to finish him. I have finished all my African squares in all, oh, they're all green in the two colors that I chose. He just needs sewing up. So he's on hold for the moment, my spider, just because he didn't get finished in time for Halloween. We're now moving on to all the Christmas projects that I want to get done. So as and when I have some free time, I will sew him up and hopefully I'll have him to show not too far time. Um, my next project, work in progress, socks for my father for Christmas. They are in Felici Gone Fishing. He is a very big fisherman, loves fishing, spends a lot of his free time fishing. So I thought how fitting would it be to knit him a pair of socks for Christmas in that colorway. Um, I've only got cuffs at the moment with my little Starbucks coffee cup progress keepers. You can see that. Now with my gift knitting, what I do do, I don't know whether you'll be able to see, I knit around at every color change so that you don't get that little bump. I've got a pair of socks here to show. So on my socks, I don't worry about it. But if you pull the ribbing, don't know whether you can see when the color changes on ah oh, there you are on a pearl row you get this little blip of um two tones that isn't straight whereas if you knit around that little blip doesn't happen uh whether we can be able to see it on the second one no I'll, I'll explain more once the socks are finished a lot quick um, and you'll be able to see. But it just gives a smooth, straight, finished line. Maybe you can see in between. I also, to make sure that they both match, when you get a colour change, let's, have a, let's see if I can find... Um, no, let me see if I, yeah. let's grab one of these. Here we are, this is a different one. So I start my socks by, here we are, let's go. 
where the colour of the yarn changes, I start my cast on in between the two colour changes. That way you get this nice little colour pop at the top, but also you know that both socks has, have been started at the same point and should match perfectly throughout the whole sock. That's just a little tip that I thought I'd share with you. Um, I'm knitting these nine inch circulars, both at the same time, 2.25 millimeter US one, nine inch circulars, 72 stitches for my father. I think I'm going to do about a 70 row leg, depending on the colour stripes and how they come out. Um, I might stop earlier. I'm going to see how far, how tall they look from that. And that is all my whips and whips finishes. Let me just check. Yes, that is. That's all my whips. Not too bad. 15 minutes and I've done all my finished objects and whips. I have a few um, stash enhancements to share with you today. I have this beautiful new project bag by Kelly, I believe her last name's McDowell. I will link below. I don't know, if you follow We Share Needles, it's by Maddie's mum, she started knitting project bags, but how perfect for the holidays. Look at those little hot chocolates and coffee cups. It's a beautiful bag, extremely soft, well made, with this beautiful lining inside. It also came with a little tiny Notions pouchy bag inside, which is perfect for my next stash enhancement that I have to show you. I bought, I haven't opened it yet, by the Yarn Badger, their sock advent. Um, should we open it? Excuse the rustling. Let's see. What the, what the oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. That is going to look so beautiful. Santa's rainbow. This is a merino nylon, a 75-25 four ply. Uh, 200 meters per 50 grams. And I've also got a little contrasting mini there for toes and cuffs. I will link the yarn badger below for you. I believe that she hasn't got any left now for, of her advent socks, but I will check that out. And if so, I will put it down below. But that is going to be my yarn advent knitting bag. Oh. Ooh, and there's some little goodies in here as well. Little Kit Kat chocolate. Ooh, and a nice hot chocolate for when I start my knitting. Oh, hold on, there's another little thing in here. Oh, how sweet are those? Merry Christmas and some sock progress keepers. Little snowman and a little and a little candy cane. They are going to look beautiful on my socks and make me smile whilst knitting those. So once again I'll pop, let me just look at that again, look at those colours, I can't wait Oh, look at that sparkle. They are going to look so pretty. 
I must admit, I didn't realise I'd bought the little mini. I'll have to check. Santa's rainbow. Perfect. The second, uh, no, third item in my stash enhancement is my yarn whisperer. Sock and key subscription. This is my October sock and key, the Omega key. It's based on the Netflix series Lock and Key. And here, look at that. Oh my goodness, those colours are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So you get 100 grams of main colour, 20 grams of contrasting colour, all themed around the key of the month, which was the Omega key last month. And you also get a key progress keeper as well each month. They're completely random. So some months you might get the same key, but so far the subscription's been on for, I believe, well, October, so 10 months. I've only had one or two duplicate keys. And it's perfect. It's on a 20, no, sorry, 8020 Corridale sock base, which is absolutely beautiful to work with. That's what this base is. And if you look, the stitch definition is so lovely. It's so, it's not as soft as a merino, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful base. Perfect for socks and shawls and things like that. Um, I also have two advents, full advents that arrived this month, but um, I'm going to hold off showing you those because I'm going to take part in um, Vlogmas this year. So I will open each day and show you then about those. Um, I think that is it with all the knitting etc this week I'm I would be interested to know I know a lot of podcasts they talk about personal life and reading watching etc at the end after all the yarny things um, I don't know whether to follow that um, schedule should we, is it that's what they call it I don't know um, if you're interested I'm more than happy to give little life updates and reading and watching updates but if you'd rather my podcast just solely be about all the yarn etc just let me know I'd be interested to know I don't want to bore you with the ins and outs of everything if you're just here for all that yarny goodness um, and I believe well leave it there I hope you are all well I hope you're all enjoying your yarny time hope you're enjoying your projects um, I will be as I said before taking part in the hiber knit along I'd like to know whether you're going to be taking part I'd love to follow you along with your progress if you're going to vlog about it please do let me know and I can check that out um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the subscribers that are here at the moment I've noticed there's been quite a few of you that have joined I'm thinking once I get to a hundred subscribers I might do a pattern giveaway so if you like that idea let me know if that's something that you're interested in if you know anyone that wants to subscribe once I get to a hundred I think I'll do that giveaway I'd like to also wish you all a lovely week take care Thank you very much for watching and please do like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.